hey guys welcome back to my channel yes i am coming at you today in my dressing gown because i would be lying if i said i wasn't in my dressing gown 99 percent of the time and i always feel like it's frowned upon to film videos on youtube of you in your dressing gown i feel like you have to put out the best version of yourself and i personally feel like the best version of myself is a messy bun and a dressing gown so here i am today's the first day where it's actually felt like proper winter in the uk well where i live um it's raining it's freezing it's literally like 12 degrees outside i've been sat on my desk working all day and i've just been freezing so the dressing gown is staying on and will be with us throughout the entirety of this video my dressing gown is my life for today's video i am going to be testing a full face of primark makeup I don't want to come across as a makeup snob but i am a makeup snob there's no other way to say it i'm going to call a spade a spade i like to spend a lot of money on makeup that is just something that i've always done i like to buy slightly more expensive products i am trying to buy a house and i'm trying to be a little bit more frugal with my spending in regards to makeup that i buy and that kind of thing i have been to primark and i've got a bag full of primark makeup now i did attempt to get every single item for my face but there are a few things missing so this is almost a full face of testing primark makeup i think the only thing that i didn't manage to get was a lip liner and a concealer if you like the sound of that and you want to see if primark makeup is any good all you've got to do is keep on watching so as always i've gone ahead and put a little bit of soap through my eyebrows and pinned back my hair going with my brow pencil first so i always do my brows first that's just the way i prefer to do my makeup this is a little bit of a cheat because i did already own this the primark brow sketch this is in the shade brown i think i think it's just brown comes with your traditional little spoolie on the end i'm just gonna use that just through my brows quickly but the whole thing's just fallen out well that's just great isn't it one second let's see if i can find it on the floor so I found it on the floor and yes i have cleaned it um but that's not a great start to the video and it isn't very secure so i'm gonna have to be very careful with that now because i have already used this before i do actually already know that i quite like this it is much more of a softer waxier brow pencil than i'm used to i normally use the nyx pencil I do you feel like i can draw brow hairs in a little bit better with the nyx one this one is just quite a softer waxier consistency it still gets the job done but i just don't feel like i've got as much control over this brow pencil as i do with my normal one i know some people like a waxier pencil so if you are into like waxy brow pencils you will really like this it's a really good brow pencil for the money you can't mind for two quid the only thing is i don't have that many shades in them but i feel like you could be quite lenient with brow pencils like you can use like slightly darker colors a little bit of a lighter hand and so on um highly recommend that i really like it um like i said i did try and get a concealer but it was completely sold out my nars soft matte complete concealer in the color nougatine so i'll be back in approximately one second i'm gonna go in with this primark soft sand eyeshadow palette this was three pound so if this is any good that's a right bargain you get nine shadows in there so it's just like a neutral kind of soft brown palette. It's the kind of thing that I would normally go for. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I'm not expecting great things from this. But I am not one to shy away from a challenge. Go in with this first neutral brown at the bottom and we'll see what that's like. The one thing I do want to try in this video, which I think is really interesting. I spotted this makeup artist tape, which is apparently you use it to apply your eyeshadow and your contouring neatly. Now, I don't think I'd probably use this for contouring because like it's tape so i think that's going to make quite a sharp line but if you were doing nose contour i think this would be a really good idea to keep your line straight for the purposes of this video i am going to give this a go corner of my eyes i'm going to do like a smoky wing uh, if you struggle to get your wings even or you're just somebody who likes to use tape um primark have some proper makeup artist tape so i don't know if they're even because i can't see because I haven't got my glasses on and this mirror is tiny. So, for all I know, they could be very uneven. But we're just going to rock with it. I'm going to go in. See, it does kick up like a shitload of shadow. But Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows do that. So, you never know. There could be... They could be just as good as ABH. Bit of a light wash of colour, as always. Okay 
that's not performing too badly at all really i mean it definitely does give you that wash of bronzy color but i will say i think it looks a little bit pink does anyone else think it looks a bit pink build it up as much as i can because i want to try and have that nice sharp line from that type so it is just really powdery more than anything but if you're a person watching this who's got like I don't know, like young nieces, young nieces or nephews that are really into makeup, or like little brothers and sisters, or you've got young daughters or young sons who are into makeup. I don't want to spend like loads of money buying them like expensive makeup that they're not quite sure what they're doing with yet. Um, this could be a really good option because I would buy my my niece something like this. She's eleven, and I think she would really like like a little palette like this. I'm going with that middle orangey shade now. I mean, it's quite warm for me, so I am just going to mix it in a little bit with the one next to it just to try and turn it down a bit. I don't really wear shades that warm anymore. Um, I like something quite neutral. See, that is so much more pigmented. Wow. Now, that is definitely a pigmented eyeshadow. So I'm going to go with that bottom shade there, that really dark one, and I'm just going to try and see look how much pigment that picks up. That's quite promising, so I'm hoping that's going to like add some nice depth to the eye on this outer corner oh okay okay it's um yeah it's a little bit wishy-washy but it's fine it will definitely do the job i'm gonna drag it along the side of that tape because i want it to look a little bit smoky and i have got a liquid liner that I'm going to use as well. I don't normally use shimmers on my eyes, but I am going to use one for the sake of this video. So I'm going to go in with this goldy shade here. Let's have a look. I'm just going to put it on my little finger because I think these sort of shadows just definitely work better when they're pressed on with a finger. Not great, but for £3, it's got some pigment. It's definitely showing up. And that's all that matters really, as long as you can see it. And it's all about like how you work with shadows like this as well. I mean, obviously you want them to be easy to easy to use, but yeah, you can definitely see it. And it's a nice, it's a really nice neutral gold colour as well. It's not too um yellowy and it's not too silvery, which I quite like in a gold eyeshadow. This is the Look Sharp One Stroke Felt Liquid Liner. This was also three pounds. Have already opened this because I wanted to see if it was any good the other day. What the nib looks like, it's quite a traditional felt tip. Like it's not a brush, like a brush tip one, which I do prefer. But judging by the back of my hand, it is a little bit watery. So we'll see how we get on. I'm sorry if I cover my face with this, but doing liner on camera is literally probably the most difficult thing ever. Not gonna lie, that's probably the worst style I've ever used. <laughs> it's just way too stiff. There's like no flexibility to the tip at all. The colour's not very dark. Like you have to like go over it a few times to get the colour payoff. You can't get any precision with it because the tip is really thick. So this is probably the first thing I'd say I'd maybe skip on. The wings are definitely on my eyes. So if you are on a budget, it will definitely do the job. Next product I'm gonna move on to is the Full Slash Queen intense full slash effect mascara this has got quite a dramatic before and after on the box i'm not gonna lie i mean that's obviously someone with very long eyelashes my eyelashes do not look like that unique soft fiber brush dramatic volume and fullness with length as well i don't think you have to spend a lot of money on a mascara to get a good one my favorite mascara is literally like three quid um that's the essence lash princess one i've raved about that loads of times so just on first impressions it's not really giving me much like of a curl like it's kind of because my lashes are actually quite curly like i can get them to curl quite well and i don't feel like that much product comes out on the brush i feel like a lot of the product is being held like inside the brush rather than on the bristles i mean i don't have the longest of lashes but i can normally get something a bit better out of them than this yeah i don't write that at all sorry guys that's a pass as well <laughs> you definitely see my lashes like it's not done a bad job but this is £3 and the one that I use every day is an Essence one. And like I said, that's like £3 as well. And that one is way better than this one. So I'd probably skip the Primark one 
and get the Essence Lash Princess one instead. I'm gonna move on to lashes because I've got some lash options. Quite a good range in there now. So I bought these, these were only £1.50 and I thought that is such a good deal. And I quite like this style of lash. So these are the party lashes in number two. So that's what they look like. Probably not gonna use them for this video just because I feel like they're a little bit gappy and I'd want like a bit more of a dramatic eye if I was gonna do um, a lash like this so it didn't cover much of the makeup. I'm gonna go in with these uh, Baby Doll 3D Silk Lashes in the... I don't know if they've got a name. I think they're just called Baby Doll Lashes. But this is what they look like. Oh yeah, sorry. They're in 723. So that's what they look like. So I'm going to put these on. That's what they look like. I'm excited to try these. These are exactly the kind of lash that I really like. Nice and wispy. But they're quite a short lash, which is good if you've got really small eyes. The band is really flexible as well. It's not too plasticky because I find with cheaper eyelashes... Um, the bands are quite stiff on them and they're very difficult to apply. This lash glue dries really quick so you don't really have to wait around for it. So I'm just going to pop it on. I normally would use my tweezers but I don't feel like I need to. The easiest lash to apply ever. Like they're literally just applied so easy. They're really easy to get close to the lash line as well which is nice because the band isn't too thick but it's just the right amount of thickness. Okay. I am really impressed with those. They're really good quality lashes. Definitely see myself wearing them again. And they're really comfortable as well. Like they're not, they don't feel heavy. They feel really light. Really like them. So I'm just going to remove this tape now. Nice and sharp. I like that. So that's some good tape. If anyone needs some makeup tape. Right then, let's move on to the thing that we're all interested in, which is probably foundation. Here's the Perfect Colour Matte Foundation in Natural Medium Coverage. Nude 05. I don't think this is going to match me at the moment, but... Just for the sake of this video, we'll give it a go. I didn't expect it to come out that thick. I think I've used a bit too much there, but we'll see. It's going to be very yellow on me, but um, we move. Okay, straight off the bat, this smells exactly like MAC Studio Fix Foundation. So if you've got that or you've used that before, you know what it smells like. It, that basically means that this smells like paint. <laughs> doesn't really bother me, but if you're quite sensitive to smells or your skin doesn't like that kind of smell and you probably won't like this because straight off like it stinks i'm just going to blend that in see what the coverage is like now this does say that it's a matte foundation which i don't really like i never really wear matte foundations just because i feel like they cling to my dry patches really bad because i have got quite dry skin already that it's clinging to dry patches which but if you've got an oily skin, you might like this. This is too dry for my skin. So if you've got dry skin, potentially steer clear of this. It's not a bad colour at all. Natural medium coverage matte foundation. I would definitely agree with that. I think that is a very good explanation of this foundation. It's definitely not full coverage. And I'd definitely say it is a natural finish. My only issue is that it does cling to my dry skin. But it is matte. A matte foundation but if you've got an oily skin but you've got like quite a nice complexion and you don't really need much coverage i think you would really like this but that's not too bad to be fair it's still quite natural looking and quite like skin like um but as i said it's just a little bit dry for me but overall i would give that a probably like a, a six and a half seven out of ten which is good i'll put some concealer on um because like i said they didn't have any concealer so i'm just gonna have to use what i've got so i'm just gonna use my nars concealer i'm just gonna go in with some powder so this is the uh, Loose Mineral Powder Build Up Coverage Matte Finish Oil Free. This is in the shade Porcelain. This was £2. That is literally so cheap. You cannot go wrong with that, can you really? Like £2 if you're on a budget. That is amazing. Got your normal. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, um... Be careful when you pull the sticky label off this because they're thinking it is quite loose and it might fly off and get all over your dressing gown. So that's just a warning from me. Moving on. I'm just going to tip some of this out in the lid. I mean, it is quite packed in there, so you can't really get much out. And then set my under eyes. I hope this doesn't alter the colour of my concealer because that's something that is like a proper pet peeve of mine. Like, I hate it when powders change the colour of my foundation or of my under eyes. So... Well, that's definitely mattified. The packaging's not great, I won't, I won't lie. It's a little bit fiddly and it's like not very sturdy and it's hard to get 
the powder out without it falling all over the place that has definitely mattified my face i've only put it under my eyes on my chin in between my brows and around my mouth because i don't like putting it everywhere because i've got dry skin my under eyes are quite creasy anyway and i do feel like it has emphasized the creases under my eyes a little bit as well so if you're on a budget and you just need something to control your oil it's a good powder for that this is the ps bronze glow matte bronzing powder this is in the shade sunset this was a pound. It is quite a dark looking bronzer, but it's quite a red bronzer and I quite like a warm bronzer like that. Oh, okay. A lot of it does come out when you put your brush in there because that means it's going to be very hard to blend out. But we will see. It is quite dark as well. They didn't really have a great shade range. So I just had to go with what I could find. I'm very conscious this is going to look really dark. So let's just go. Oh God. Dressing gown needs washing anyway. Okay, so that is a very, very pigmented bronzer. There's no issues with pigment there. See, I was tempted to use this in my crease on my eyes because I do that anyway. I tend to use bronzer like for a crease colour. But I wanted to give the eyeshadow a fair, a fair crack of the whip. That is, literally, I think I've dipped in there like once and I've bronzed my whole face with it which is great because that means you don't need a lot of product. But I will say it is very muddy, not the nicest consistency, but it's definitely bronzed me up. So that's nice. It's looking quite nice at the moment. This area of my face is looking really nice. I will say my under eyes look very, very dry. And my concealer that I use doesn't normally do that. So I'm guessing that's the powder or the foundation underneath. So I'm going to go in with some blush. This is the high pigment blush in the shade In The Pink, which is an interesting name if you ask me. I'm just using this P. Louise brush. It is quite, okay, whoa, whoa. That is a lot of blush. I hope this is like a buildable one and it doesn't come out as pigmented as it looks. Okay, it is very pigmented. Whoa, you literally need a tiny bit of this, wow. I swear I literally went like that. That would be great as a pink eyeshadow. Guys, if you're looking for a really, really pigmented blush, Primark has a really pigmented blush. I mean, once you've patted over it with your foundation brush, it's quite a nice colour. So I'm not complaining. I'm going to use the bronzer for under my eye because I want to give it a fair crack and i think this would be good as an eyeshadow because it is really pigmented on a little flat brush and i'm just going to use this under my eye great lower lash line color i like just something really neutral on my lash line so that works well for me mascara I bet this is really good for bottom lashes because it doesn't coat the brush in loads of mascara. It just like has a tiny bit on. And I have I have to say that does make my lashes really nice and spaced out. Because I don't like too much product on my lower lashes. I also haven't got a highlighter but I couldn't see any in there. So I haven't got a lip liner because they didn't have any nude ones. They had pink ones. So I'm just going to use this NYX one in the shade Sandstorm. It needs sharpening but I, haven't, I can't be bothered. So I've got the matte lipstick in the shade i don't know what there isn't a shade color on it but it's just this like nudie one i think this was like one pound fifty okay, so that is a lot different to the color of the outer packaging that smells really nice it literally looks exactly like velvet teddy which i'm not a fan of because it doesn't suit me but let's give it a go oh it's very dry actually a really nice colour very nice if you're looking for a pale nude or a, a warm nude but you're quite pale like me that's quite nice I quite like that I'm quite I'm a bit of a fan it's definitely quite dry though so I am going to put lip gloss over it so this is the high gloss lightweight ultra shine lip gloss in the shade I don't know it doesn't say there's not many shade names on this Primark stuff but 
let's give it a go anyway i love myself a lip gloss i'm definitely a lip gloss gal okay i love it instantly i'm obsessed not sticky at all and it smells amazing and the applicator is really easy to use you can literally like that's my favorite thing that is amazing for £1.50 it's not sticky at all it feels really moisturizing and it's a really nice color okie dokie so there we have it full face of Primark makeup and I think this is a really nice makeup um, I'm very pleasantly surprised I mean the products individually aren't amazing but as a whole i think this has created a really really nice makeup look i love the lashes i love the brow pencil the eyeshadow palette isn't amazing but you can definitely make it work with the right brushes and the right techniques i'm obsessed with this lip gloss i really like this lipstick color the bronzer works really well it's just very pigmented so you just need a light hand and the same with the blusher very light hand needed on that and i'm actually very impressed with the foundation as I've looked at it close up in the mirror, I don't think it looks as dry as I thought it did up close. Um, and the powder's done a really good job of setting it down. The only thing I will say is the powder is quite drying under the eye. So I'd maybe just use that as more of a blotting powder or like a oil control powder rather than a setting powder for under the eye. This is probably the only thing that I would say I skip on is this eyeliner. Not the best. Does the job, but just not the best. And also the mascara is um, not my favourite either. I think the Lash Princess one from Essence is better and it's the same price. All in all, I think this has created a really nice makeup look. I would go out in this makeup. So if you like the look of this makeup or you found this interesting and you're thinking about buying any of these products or you want to know any more information on them, please leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. As I say, I am in my dressing gown. It's now covered in makeup and powder because that powder literally fell out everywhere all over me i might this a regular thing it might become like dressing gown wednesdays who knows please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it my videos haven't been getting pushed out as much recently because i haven't been uploading as regularly which is obviously my fault but if you're willing to do your girl a favor please give the video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye guys